friends, it's time to get started on our downstream O2 sensor. You're going to find that located on your vehicle's exhaust. On this particular vehicle, it's right inside the catalytic converter. I'm going to be doing the one on the driver's side, but the passenger side would be approximately the same. One of the first things I like to do is disconnect the wiring. You can take a small pocket screwdriver or even just your finger, push on this tab, and then separate the two pieces. I always like to take a peek at my connectors on both sides just to make sure I don't see any funny colors. I know I'm replacing the O2 sensor, but if I see some corrosion on this side, more than likely there's some on the other side. At this point, I'm going to remove the O2 sensor from the catalytic converter. You're going to need a special tool for that, and it looks like this right here. You can see that it has a slot, and it's going to fit right over the wire for your O2 sensor. Put this right on the O2 sensor and try to break it free. <coughs> there we are. Okay. There's our O2 sensor, friends. Okay, friends, now it's going to be time to get our brand new downstream O2 sensor in here. You're going to notice on the threads that you have a little bit of never seize. Leave it on there, but be careful not to get it on the sensing agent. We're going to start this in by hand, and then once it bottoms out by hand, we'll go ahead and snug it up with our tool. So now we're just going to go ahead and snug this up. I have it so it's bottomed out. We're just going to go a teeny bit more because we want to make sure that we crush down that gasket. That's nice and tight right there. Next, of course, you want to connect in the O2 sensor to the harness. Push that right in. Make sure it's locked. Give it a nice tug. If you have any excess cable, make sure that you just kind of tie this up so it's going to be nice and secure. I'm going to use a wire tie. Okay, friends, so you finished your O2 sensor. Great job. Now what you need to do is if you had a check engine light on, clear that code. Take your vehicle for a road test. If your check engine light stays off, you did great.